welcome to the Sailing My Magic channel. My name is Duke and Magic is my 2015 Lagoon catamaran and I'm sailing around the world. And on this leg I'm heading towards French Polynesia having cleared Galapagos Islands. This is my GoPro selfie stick. It's carbon fiber, so it's very lightweight, very easy to use. I like it a lot. I broke the head that was on it, could not find a replacement head. So I had to try to improvise one on my own. I took a GoPro head from a car. I drilled a hole in it and epoxy the screw in the bottom to screw into. And also there's sticky tape on the, the back of this. So on this one, I can remove the head by just sliding that in there and then locking it down. I found a cuttlefish up on the deck. That's only happened this trip. Uh, Prior to this, I've had uh, flying fish, and in really big storms, regular fish. There are very few clouds today, and a beautiful sunrise. I think I'll have a lot of sunlight to charge the solar cell today. For the last few nights, there's been a mysterious glow in the south. Now, this could be a city, but there's no land down there. I'm wondering what's powerful enough to make this glow that far away. Maybe a fleet of fishing ships. Big flying fish, eight inches long. Panama City, where I started out, is directly south of Miami. And now i am moved over several time zones. I'm south of New Mexico. Red sky in the morning, sailors take morning. Red sky at night, sailors delight south of Arizona, almost as far west as California. I think I have about 12 days left to go. I call my traveling food. It's either pork, chicken, or beef, and either rice, quinoa, or pasta with a few vegetables, sometimes a sauce. Another interesting aspect has been the time zone. Since I don't have cell phone communications, I don't have an automatic update at a time on my cell phone. But now that I'm south of California, I can assume that I'm on California time. Today is going to be interesting because timing is everything. I've been slowly building the solar battery charge back up, which has been difficult with clouds to the east in the morning and the sail shadow coming from the west in the afternoon has limited my ability to charge batteries. But at the same time, I need to make fresh water, which requires a lot of electricity. What I'm going to do is time it so I'm almost up to 1200 amp hours on the batteries, and I will run the uh, water maker in the late afternoon when there's about 70 or 80 amps coming in off the solar panels, so it will only take a small amount off of the batteries in the meantime. There, I've managed to make 100 gallons of fresh water for the big tanks, five gallons of bottled water, and I initially drew it down to 900 amp hours, but I am back up to 1,000 amp hours by the end of the day. It went from a clear sunny sky to lots of clouds in every direction. None of them look like storm clouds yet. Dawn of a new day. Got 10 knots of wind, and I'm moving it better than 5 knots. In the middle of the night, it switched to directly from the east. Unfortunately, I want to go directly west, and regular sails don't do well when the wind is at your stern. I had to go out and get out my spinnaker, which is ideally suited for wind from the stern. And so far, the wind has been perfect. It's been... It's a real storm over there, and it goes all the way up here. I'm going to try and get out from under it as much as I can. I didn't have enough wind this morning to outrun the storms. They finally caught up to me, but that's okay, 
because now I have 17 knots of wind, so I'm really flying. Also, I'm getting some rain, but that's okay too, because I can wash the decks with some free, fresh water. Went through that storm last night, hoping the sun is going to break up the storm. It is over here. The sky has cleared up. The water is nice and blue, although it's very choppy right now. And I shipped the reef out of the Genoa to get that extra half a knot out of it. There's no significant clouds today. And the clouds in the east are very low, which means I'll get early morning solar charge. And in every direction, almost no clouds. All night long I've had wind of about 19 and 20 knots. So I've been flying along the whole night, making up some good time, and seems to be holding during the daytime too. At this rate, if it keeps going, I could be there in about nine days or less. Storm has formed each of the last three nights. It's produced winds of 23 to 26 knots and 15 foot swells. It's not a problem, it's allowed me to go faster and to point more towards the direction I want to go. Since dreams like lettuce broccoli, etc. Don't keep long enough for a long voyage. I buy this pasta that has infusions of spinach, broccoli, parsley, kale, and zucchini. Let me give you a quick update. As of tomorrow, I will have been sailing for five weeks. That's good news. I have 900 miles left to go, which will take me about a week, maybe eight days. I've run out of propane from both tanks now. But that's not really a problem because I still have my George Foreman grill and still have the microwave so I can still heat stuff up. Canned goods really don't need to be heated if you don't want to anyway. Um, I'm also low on water in my second tank of water. I have seven gallons of bottled water beyond that. But I've got the water maker. As of 6.30 this morning, I have 749 miles to go. I calculated that's at uh, 4.8 days at six and a half knots, but I've been doing more like seven knots each day. What I have to do is avoid getting there at nighttime. I don't want to come into the harbor at night. Plenty of red in this sunset. Good morning. It's 11 a.m. I have 497 miles left to go. I had a real nice conversation yesterday with a couple in a catamaran from New Zealand. I couldn't actually see them or the boat. Um, I could see where they were located on my chart, and we just chatted on the radio for a little while. I'm heading towards Nukuoa. It's the northernmost island for a check-in, and I have to go around Uauka, that's kind of in the way, and to the south of me is um, Iba'oa, which is the southern check-in island. Uh, it will be an interesting sail, almost there. 300 miles to go in a straight line, but I have to zigzag a bit, so maybe 350. I was inspecting the running gear, and the topping lift line was almost worn through. There's some normal wear and tear here where it was against the shackle. But here, it was almost through the topping lift. It's kind of a safety line. It supports the boom. Ordinarily, the sail supports the boom, but the topping lift supports it when the sail isn't up or when you're changing the sail. I rolled up a couple of old pillows and put them up under the boom for support while I was disconnecting the topping lift. I gave myself a haircut, which was not that unusual. I've been doing it ever since COVID shut down several of the barber shops. And then on the boat, it's been my only choice. I tried to get a professional haircut in Puerto Rico, but every time I went to the barber shop, it was closed. It's kind of comical how much hair I cut off. Sailing downwind is difficult. I don't have a whisper pole to do true wing on wing. And my spinnaker, well, you really shouldn't fly a spinnaker in high wind. So what I've done is I've gone north of the entry between Uahuka and Hiva Oa. And then I'm coming down at an angle so I can catch the wind. And when I get into the middle of those, then I can come up at an angle again 
And if I have calculated this correctly, I'll be coming in in the morning, so I won't be coming in at night time, which is what I was desperately trying to avoid. Now, coming past Uahuka, there's a storm just beyond it. And when I came up there, I could see the clouds hitting Uahuka, and it merged into it. At the same time, a ferry was coming towards me, and it looked like we were going to have our paths intersect each other, but fortunately not. Land ho! That's Nuku Hiva, dead ahead. These are very rugged volcanic islands. There are huge volcanic forces that work on these islands. And when you see a pointy cone, that's the internal core rock from a volcano. And here's the harbor. I was trying to take pictures and navigate and steer as I came in. Now look at that rock at the top of that hill. It just looks like it's ready to fall down. And you get the beautiful uh, reflection of light on the clouds during the sunset. But then there were fins all around me. And I wondered, gee, what are those fins? And now it's time for the sailor's tradition of a sundowner. Enjoy. Enjoy.